Hello everyone, I'm Jun Yu from UT Austin. The topic that I will present today is the economy, the value of mobility in retail and wealth. This is joint work with Weiqi from Tsinghua University. Shopping is a central aspect of urban life, but the ways of shopping are constantly changing. What is the economy? It's a mode of selling products in urban spaces with world varying source. As an example of practicing the store economy, Stop and Shop goes to chain launches RoboMart in the Boston area. And how does the RoboMart work? Uh, it's quite simple. As a customer, you just need to simply tap a button on your cell phone to summon the RoboMart and you walk and wait. Um, when the uh, RoboMart arrives, you do the shopping, you pick up fruits or vegetables. And you, when you are done with the shopping, you just check out and go. Customers say it, it's as easy as Amazon, as quick as Uber, it's like Amazon Go on wheels. And in this paper, we are trying to answer the question, can this self-driving enable the store economy really prosper? The first big uh, advantage of the store is its mobility. As a customer, you don't need to travel very far to do the shopping. You just need to wait at home and the uh, mobile store will reach to you. At the same time, the mobile store can uh, engage customers in a touch and feel shopping experience. Although uh, mo uh, mobility allows a store to reach more customers, doing so also entails operating cost and customers waiting time. To reduce the reposition cost and the customer's waiting time, one way is to ask the customer to work a little bit to meet the uh, mobile store. However, this approach incurs customers' hassle of travel. And the second uh, big advantage is uh, its asset limits. So purchasing or leasing mobile stores frees uh, retailers from binding themselves to real estate and thus generally incurs uh, less upfront investment and maintenance costs uh, than purchasing or uh, leasing traditional brick and model stores. A downside of the asset lightness is um, uh, its limited capacity and the store really cannot carry too much inventory. Uh, in the presence of high demand, inventory replenishment may uh, have to occur very frequently and offsets the cost advantage of asset lenders. Through our study, based on the merits, the challenges, and the ongoing uh, implementations, uh, we aim to understand whether and how to efficiently run the uh, store economy operations on a large scale. We develop uh, spatial queuing models for three service modes. Uh, the first mode is on-demand door-to-door. The store moves to the doorsteps of customers by order they request shopping. And the second mode is on-demand weighted radius. The store moves to be within our distance from each customer by order they request shopping, and we call this uh, the rendezvous problem. And the third mode is demand pooling. Uh, the store transverses uh, sub sequentially to pool uh, spatially and temporarily adjacent demands. In the second mode, the on-demand within radius mode, we call the problem rendezvous. And uh, it's generally a challenging and intractable to characterize the um, store spatial distribution because uh, the distribution really depends on how we move the store towards each customer. And we tackle this challenge by constructing a mapping rule of picking the next random rule. The general idea is that uh, the store will move towards the customer and stop at a point that is at most our distance away from the customer. And we divide the uh, whole zone to uh, eight subzones. In each subzone, there is uh, a unique direction pointing from the uh, random rule to the next customer. And we surprisingly find out that the station distribution of the rental is uniform over the inner diamond. Now, having characterized the uh, uh, spatial distribution of the store, uh, we are able to solve this store economy uh, planning problem, which incorporates the routing for inventory replenishment. Um, basically, there is a big truck traverses each subzone to do the replenishment. And the stores can move towards the truck for inventory replenishment to save the routing cost. Our objective is to maximize the profit uh, 
uh, which equals um, the profit from sales minus the total routing cost incurred by the truck and stores. And we did a, a simulation. The x axis is the potential demand and the y axis here is profit density. The gap between the demand pooling and the within radius, this is the value of pooling. And the uh, gap between the within radius and door to door, this is the value of avoiding the last 100 meters. The gap between the door to door and the stationary, this is the uh, value of mobility. And our key finding is that the store economy can provide high quality service without incurring significant cost thanks to the store mobility, the operational flexibility, and the deployment adaptability. And we also illustrate our results with an uh, area consisting of 36 uh, for the citation areas in the city of Toronto. And dark green areas um, uh, are those uh, where the pooling mode is preferred over the on-demand mode. And the key finding is that the operational uh, flexibilities help accommodate service quality requirements. And that's all, thank you.